Mr. Shainan, how are you this, today? I'm great, thank you. How are you, Noel? Oh, very good, very good. Actually, me and the whole team from Mundo Películas are very excited to have you here today. We all love the second season of the capture, so we are so thank you so much for having this time for us. So no, thank thank you. <laughs> So if you don't mind, we go straight to the questions. Unfortunately, we don't have much time. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, so we are going to start a question about this first season. And it's like, the first season is not clear in the beginning. I mean, it's not clear if DCI, Rachel Carey joined the dark side or not. So did you actually plan on the second season from the beginning? I always, I always hoped there would be a second season. Okay. I didn't assume. I think you, you have to, you have to. The reality is, you have to wait and see um, uh, whether whether there was an audience for the first season and whether the audience wanted more. Um, and so, I didn't want to write the kind of ending that wasn't satisfying for the viewers. Um, so, I wrote a, 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 a I, I hope, a satisfying ending for the Sean Emery character. Um, mm -hmm. But but um, but with Rachel Carey's story, I left the door open uh, for more. And and when we got there, we we kind of realized, yeah, there's definitely there's definitely more to this story. Wow, wow, that's actually amazing, very impressive. And the second thing, what what inspired you originally to conceive of the whole concept of correction? Well, uh, I, I guess I was interested in um, the fact that there are so many CCTV cameras around, particularly in, in the UK, but it, they're growing all over the world. Different, different cities around the world are deploying more and more CCTV cameras um, uh, for, for crime and security reasons. But, um, you know, it's been a long time since George Orwell warned us about uh, what could happen if, if, there's, if, if the authorities have complete surveillance. And his warnings seem to go unnoticed. You know, people don't seem to be afraid of the fact that the, the authorities and private companies can can see us and record us uh, almost constantly. Um, and so I wondered, I wondered how to move the conversation on from privacy fears to trust fears. Like, never mind being recorded all the time. What if we can't trust what they're recording? What if? Never mind. Big Brother is watching you. What if Big Brother? Is messing with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. 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 Okay. And now moving to to second season, we realize that you focus less on the personal and more on elections and influencing political narratives. So, were you actually worried? Actual events might catch up with you. Yes, we we constantly worry on this show whether we're going to be. A Ahead of ahead of the curve or on it or behind it, um, because it takes a couple of years to produce a new series, and we watch the news and we and we check for technological advances obsessively while we're making it, um, and and you in the end you just got to hope for the best and hope that you're making something that still feels just ahead of the curve. Um, and I I think I think we I think we got there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and. Not only you focus on what I said previously, but also more on social media, international hacking, and political states, as you said before. But like in USA, China, and the UK. So why did you make this decision on focusing more globally? Well, I I wanted to kind of expand the world. I think I think we did the UK pretty thoroughly in the first season. Uh, I wanted just just as Kerry thinks he's got a handle on mm -hmm. what this what this problem is and what this program is um she suddenly sort of full falls through the rabbit hole and sees the, the the world and the problem is so much bigger than she than she first realized um and i also think it makes you question your allegiances in terms of which characters you you, you you're you're you you're rooting for um because whilst you know, whilst the UK, when you find out that the UK authorities are involved in this, you're, you're, I, I hope you're kind of um, concerned and troubled by that. But then, if everybody else is doing it, you can kind of understand why. As you know, as, as soon as as soon as somebody develops a new weapon, every country wants it so that they can be prepared for when they're invaded. It's it, it, AI and deep fakes are no different. 
Yeah, absolutely. Wow. It's, it's really good that you, you made that decision because as you said, it's not only, it's like a global problem. It's very nice to like open the eyes and finally say, this is actually going on. We must do something. So that's really impressive. And do you have any other projects coming up about that, that you want to talk about? Sure, there's a, I have a project that's coming out uh, this summer in the UK uh, on Sky. Um, I'm not sure when it's going to reach Latin America, but mm -hmm. uh, hopefully it will sell around the world. Um, and it's called Then You Run. And it's a, a story about um, some uh, a, a group of teenage friends who go on uh, vacation, uh, but it turns, into, it turns into a road trip across Europe as they are pursued by the mafia and a serial killer. It becomes very, very um, exciting. So it's a very, very um, fun and uh, summery kind of summer holiday goes very, very wrong story. Oh my God, that's so amazing. Well, of course, <laughs> we are all excited to know more about that. But we had to wait, I know, we had to be patient. So, um, so yeah, could you please now invite our fans from Mundo Películas to watch your absolutely amazing work of the capture now? <laughs> sure. Uh, Please, please uh, watch uh, season two of The Capture. Okay, okay, Mundo Películas. Oh yeah, you want me to say that? Yeah, yeah, if you okay, can. Just say, okay, just say, say it one more time for me. Mundo Películas. Mundo Películas, you want me to say, watch it on that, yeah? Yeah, please. Okay, okay. Uh, please watch The Capture season two on Mondo Paniculus. Very good. Perfect. Was it thank good? You. Was that, did I say it right? No, it was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, thank you uh, so much. I think, I, think you're, I think you're being, I think you're lying. I think it was bad. No, but, no uh, you're very good uh, languages. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, thank man, you. seriously. Thank you so much, Mr. Shannon, to having us today. It was completely fresh um, pleasure. Very nice to meet you. And I hope uh, best wishes on this new project. Now I'm I'm actually excited for this. So thank you so much for everything. Great. Well, thank you, Noel. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Noel. Thank you. Goodbye.